This plot of land in Mattoon, Illinois, is one step closer to becoming home to future gen. What's a cornfield now could be the country's first near zero emissions coal fired power plant. David Wartman was there from the beginning. Uh, the announcement is something that we've been waiting for uh, since uh, December of 2007. A decision by the Department of Energy to go ahead with the project. Now the Future Gen Alliance Group will spend the next 8 to 10 months working on a design and funding plan, spending lots of time and money here. If they do a test well, you know, there will be workers here. Uh, I think that uh, the Alliance has already shown that they're uh, uh, interested in working with uh, local firms for uh, engineering and land surveying work. It could be a big win for the city if all go as planned, bringing in around 3,000 temporary construction jobs and 150 permanent jobs. I, I think locally we understand that this is going to be a project that has the, uh, the potential to change uh, the way we use energy. When all studies are complete, the U.S. Department of Energy will decide whether or not to continue with the project. If approved, the department will give over $1 billion for the future power plant. In Mattoon, Illinois, with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Jane Santucci, News 10.